Welcome to the Games Freezer. Snares football games were shot. 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 Jaleco. Hello! Yes, it's me, Jim Jaleco, bringing you Super Cup Soccer live from the sky as I float above this stadium with all those pretty lights. What a great game we've got in store for you tonight with plenty of frills and spills as we take on a Super Cup. Yes, let's start the game in stereo. Hello, it's Richard. It's Games Freezer's look at Snares football games that were shite. Um, as I've been working through these, I've found some great games and I've found some absolute shite. So tonight, let's look at Super Cup Soccer. Players England in a uh, Super Cup. Um, and obviously we are going to go towels, never fouls, because Dems are the rules. And the everlasting spin of this coin rumbles on as it's a towel. Because towels, never fouls, take the ball, bang, because Dems are the rules, need the ball to score a goal. Right. So let's kick off. And away we go. <laughs> ah dear, classic. Right, what we got here then? Um, immediately, this game feels crud as he walks into the post and loses half his body. Um, kind of looks like it was going to be a football champ style game. Um, proper arcadey. Just like football champ. But then looking at it now, it's looking pretty uh pretty much like a D make of football champ, how sparse it is. Um passing's not very good. Uh it's literally lumping it forward. The ball physics are a bit off. Kind of ball doesn't seem to really bounce, it kinda of skids around. Players just hanging out on the sideline, look, having a little, uh, having a little jaunt. And the ref, poor, poor lad, has uh, got half an arm in the air when he uh, gives anything, such as kicking, which I'm not sure kicking is an official kind of decision, is it? Unless there was a foul, which there kind of was, but kind of implies that maybe someone karate kicked someone in the head or something. But there you go. Anyway. Terminology aside, uh, the game is kick and rush style gameplay. Um, when you try and pass, the pass button is pretty woeful. It's like you're trying to kick through long, wet grass. There's just no kind of power or pace to the pass. So you're best off just lumping it forward, trying to get someone on it. Um, and then, uh, yeah, just seeing what happens, basically. So that's what you're going to find yourself doing. Plenty of slide tackling, as always, with these type of games. But the the um, the actual button presses don't seem to really react to the player. The player does not seem to give you a slide and tackle when you want him to. Um, and that's annoying. So then you end up basically allowing players to go past you quite easily a lot of the time. Which is a pain in the head. Oh, pain in the head, pain in the ass, And the head, maybe. Great diving header, though, from all the way out there. Um, so, yeah, that just kind of feels like it's going to be a... SNES football games with shite. Um, contender for turds. It's just how many turds is this going to get? As uh, these two totally blonde-haired teams go at it with a nice overhead kick. Oh, off the post. Sweden. I can kind of understand if Sweden were kind of all blonde haired, but I'm not so sure about any England team that's ever been that's been all blonde haired blokes. 
with kind of mullets it looks like as well flowing mullets as they uh, venture down the pitch in an oddly coloured England kit with two yellow stripes going down it and England kits with yellow on them pretty rare if not never <laughs> I'm just trying to think of a England kit with uh, yellow on it maybe a goalkeeper kit from the 90s when Larry kits were the thing totally Larry um, and you had like multiple rainbow colours on them I remember Spurs had a, uh, a kit when Ian Walker was in goal it was oh man it had every single colour you could think of on it splattered across it it's actually um, quite a collector's item now. Anyway, uh, goalkeeper's kits aside. Oh, that's a nice goalie kit. That's a classic Son Deco special, that one. If you've ever played for a football team and uh, had a Son Deco kit in the kit bag, generally the goalkeeper's kits are black and green, like that, like the Sweden goalkeeper's kit. And while we're on the subject of kits, purple for Sweden... They're blatantly making these up, aren't they? Surely. At least ours is kind of white and blue. Blue shorts, white top. Um, there's his purple, which I'm kind of guessing has never happened, surely. They're kind of seen as uh, golden tops, aren't they? Like a yellow, golden yellow. Anyway, more kicking. Uh, this game is, uh, yeah. As you can tell, this game isn't great. Oh, as he sticks one in the bottom corner. Not a bad finish. Wow. Did we get a replay? Nah, no replay. Oh, well. No, nice finish, though. Nice finish. This is, like, made in 1992, so it's kind of pre the time when the replays were standard so we'll, I'll allow that I mean anything sort of beyond maybe 94 you generally had replays of goals as standard um, just trying to think FIFA may be the first one that introduced replays the FIFA International Soccer originally on the Mega Drive ended up coming to the SNES which I've already done a video on which is actually quite good um, yeah, so yeah, I reckon that's kind of the the round about the time when it, um, replays were a standard thing. Um, although to be fair, like I've said before, um, Sensible Soccer had that replay function in there well before, and the ability to save your goals onto the uh, onto a disc or onto your save game. I'm not sure. I remember how it works now. Um, you used to save your game for a championship manager onto a disc. That much I do know. But um, I can't remember whether you had a like a gold disc as well, separately. God, I had so many discs in my, uh, my uh, Commodore Amiga. Um, I owned a copy of X copy. So obviously I made a lot of copies. I was part of the problem, unfortunately. There you go. Oh, off the post. As we venture into a conversation about piracy on the Commodore Amiga. And it's half time. It's half time. Wow. That was uh, crap. But half time entertainment. Look at this. Diversity. Eat your heart out. Quality cheerleading. Fight, 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 fight. Say the fans as the cheerleaders give us some divert diversity esque. Um, choreography, which is great. So what are we going? Four four two. Yeah, four four two. Let's have some four four two. Not that it will matter one little bit. Uh, yeah. So, oh look at that, nice passing. Oh, see what I mean about the pass? It just doesn't have enough on it, does it? Uh, that kind of halfway line flag looks like someone's put their undercrackers on a. Uh, on a corner flag pole there you go that a shot from miles out you do find yourself doing that quite a bit on this game having a shot from miles out open oh look at that diving header from miles out peppard time oh look at this it's three in a row 
Getting those stats up. Can we do it again? No, missed the diving header that time. Right, string two passes together. That is my aim for the rest of this match is to string some kind of move together. I can do it. One. It's another. Oh, it's a cross field ball. Held my breath there. Thought we might actually get something out of it. But alas, no. Mr. Half an Arm puts his arm in the air to signify a kick in. Right. Don't know why the crowd and the music go silent when you get a free kick. Oh, he's taking a dig. Oh. 45 yard dig straight down the keeper's throat. And a missed diving header. Kind of ducked under that one. Uh, did the Aylesbury duck by the looks of it. Oh, look at that. Nice sliding tackle. Plays a long pass. It's unlucky there. Unlucky. Oh, the diving header. Whoa. Kind of looked like the keeper made some sort of save out of that. Well, well, well. Oh, hello. Another dig. Oh. England here. Yeah, really turning up the pressure. Uh, I'm making this video the day after England beat Tunisia in the World Cup as well. So England are on a high on the Gareth Southgate. Um, first game of the World Cup and a nice win. Oh, look at this cross field passing. Oh, seems to be the best tactic on this. It's the cross field ball. Um, oh, is that a dig? Oh, nice save. Cooper. Love these goals, by the way. Proper arcade football goals. Nice deep ones with stanchions on them. Get your arm up, referee. More kicking. Uh, yeah, good goals, good goals. Back in the days when all goals were different, depending on which stadium you were going to. Most European ones were kind of big square nets with no stanchions, maybe a pole at the back to pull it out. On Stabutio, yeah, they called them Mundial goals. Always wanted, uh, always wanted those over in uh, in England, but at the time I didn't really understand that oh hello oh that it was good to have different goals across different stadiums like your Norwich nets nice shallow ones where you could touch the back of the net if you were standing on the line your Wembley goals with big stanchions on the back you see goals is a uh, interesting subject <laughs> especially when you're playing this shit um yeah so yeah this is a classic um, classic example of arcade goals big squares big square ones nice stanchions kind of like Wembley nets in the old Wembley but now it's carbon copy across the world I think it's been standardised across FIFA and UEFA right that's my rant about uh, goals over as we nearly score again this goal this game even needs another goal. Need another goal. Come on, concentrate on the game, not on goals. This game is shit. So I am playing this with turds in mind. So it's how many turds am I going to give this? So if Kevin Keegan, oof, Kevin Keegan's player manager, I got five. So that is pretty much the uh, the standard that's been set for shit football games on the Super Nintendo. So that had five. This is at least a game of football where I can have a shot on target without feeling like my thumbs are going to fall off at least. This just falls down in the fact that it's a classic old school arcade football game that's not very good at um, representing the game of football. It's just a game of kick and rush. So... I'll have a little think about it and I'll give you the third score at the end of this as we try and get another goal. Oh, he's played him in. He's had a dig. Oh, good football there from England. No player names either or anyone that sort of resembles any sort of famous players of the day. That's always a nice uh, nice thing to have in a game. Oh, that's good. Oh, he's brought him down after a great move. It's a penalty for kicking. And here we go. Oh yes, nice penalty uh, little setup. That looks cool. Here we go. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, what a finish! Keeper was grabbing for his change on the floor. 
has uh, sliced the ball into the bottom right hand corner and my mode 7 man he's running at me 2-0 to England mode 7 in full effect that's surely taken a turd away from its overall score just when we were thinking 5 turds out of 5 maybe it's a 4 turder we shall see the gavel shall fall at the end of this as we play some more football little lofted ball forwards but to no avail Sweden then being under pressure 2-0 down their first game in this Super Cup Jim Jalico back in the studio is going to be happy at this result assuming England can hold out for this final however long is left Sam 59 on that timer but I'm not or what that kind of represents oh it's a countdown isn't it you twat ok so we've got yeah 50 seconds left the clock stops every time the keeper gets it oh kicking I'm guessing kicking right free kick lumps it forward straight at the keeper keeper gobbles it up looking a bit Peter Schmeichel-esque even though Peter Schmeichel played for Denmark but hey as we lump it out for a throw in 38 seconds of this dross Oof, remaining as I put you through this disgusting representation of the beautiful game it's a throw in oh over a kick nice and the shitty music kicks in again. Crossfield pass. Nice, nice, nice. Come on, boys. Stun you there. As they slam it out for a throw in. Oh, this is bad. Maybe it's going up to a uh, a five turder. Although, to be fair, it can't because Kevin Keegan's player manager is just the uh, is the bar really for five turders. Um, that really was bad. Right, we've got five seconds of this dross left. I've got five seconds to think about how many turds am I going to give this game? Turd worthy. Most definitely, as time is finally up. Happy days. 2 0 winners for England. Oh, and the Mode 7 clones come running at me. John, 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 and John running away because they're winner they're not winners they're just winner England 2-0 against Sweden as they stomp across the pitch right okay so what do I think of this game well as you have clearly heard it's a stinker um, I'd say it's let's let's say three turds out of five how have they had 20 shots they didn't even have one shot Yes, we've had 26. There's no way they had 20 shots. They're making it up. 24 saves. What? Seriously. Anyway. Three turds out of five. Don't play it. Let me play it. I'll tell you how it is. I'm going to be back very soon with another video. SNES Football Games are shite. I've got plenty more of these lined up. I've actually got 27 to get through. Um, so yeah there's a fair few left I think this is number 17 because <laughs> I'm losing count thanks for watching everyone spread the word subscribe like share see you soon www.gamesfreezer.eu